the visit from the conservatory was a really quick one, but we had it packed full of activities and different things to, to do and to, and to discuss. Uh, it started right off the bat with, with a huge bang. Good morning, Ni Hao Ma. Ni Hao Ma. <laughs> Esteemed guests from the Shenyang Conservatory of Music South Campus. Good morning. I would like to formally welcome you to McNally Smith College of Music. It has been a great honor to share ideas and strengthen our growing relationship in Shenyang and now in the United States. When you started reading those things, and the first time the Gao Hong started speaking in Mandarin, I saw uh, folks sort of tracking with it in the, uh, in the crowd. Was like, Great, this, this, this feels fantastic. And so by the time Aisha came up to do the first song, I was, it was like icing on the cake. And I was really proud to start with the student performance. To just say, like, hey, we're not hiding behind saying, oh, we got, we got great instructors, but we're saying we're ready to put uh, some of our finest students up first. And not only to start with a, a student, but to start with a student from Bermuda. Yeah. <laughs> so to also show that the school is already that right. Yeah, yeah already international. It left the entire group of uh, delegates from Shenyang just vibrating for the rest of the day. It was a great way to introduce our our campus and our program to these people and uh, and for them to just enjoy right off the bat some of the, the amazing performers that we have here. During the tour of the school, we actually uh, got a visit from St. Paul's Mayor Chris Coleman, which was really cool and it's just a great way to welcome the folks here and uh, they were all really happy to meet him and uh, it, was, it was a great sign that the city really supports our efforts here. There's always the funniness about photo ops, so the next time I caught up with them, by the mayor thing, and everybody's doing that sort of like casual thing with that. Trying to lean closer into Chris Comer's. <laughs> a little bit of that, and I, I try to consider myself above it, and then I'll find myself standing right next to Chris Comer. I'm like, yeah, slowly scooting his feet over. <laughs> yeah, and if you see if the big photo of us outside, it's like me and Chris Coleman and Harry Chubbers. It's like, yeah. This, this, the assistant diploma, diploma assistant coordinator is like the key dude who should stand next to the mayor right now. You know, one of the things that I, I really enjoyed about the visit was a, a lunch that we had at a local restaurant. And people were just talking, and that was such a cool thing to see, such a great dynamic over a meal. You know, the interactions that happened I know were memorable, and I know that people are already telling stories and, and remembering uh, what happened during those conversations. And I was like, oh! What decade or period does your class start from? Because I'm thinking, oh, it'd be interesting to know if they take it up from like the 1800s and they're actually doing, you know, uh, ragtime and, and things prior to that. And like uh, translators. I was back, he's, like, he's been teaching since 2003. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, there's going to be millions of those moments of, yes. just, of just going, you know, I mean, and that's the best, that might be the best part, Yeah, is discovery and finding new ways to figure things out. Because that's so hip-hop. That's Grand Wizard Theodore in his, <laughs> in his uh, bedroom holding the record, waiting for his mom to leave and realizing that he can scratch. So the final piece of the day was uh, a really great meeting that we had. Uh, with the conservatory delegates and it was about you know three or four of their top leaders and three or four of our top leaders and we all just sat around a table and discussed what programs you know would come of this agreement and this partnership and pretty quickly expanded the scope from just the hip-hop dip diploma program to pro partnership in music business in production in performance and that was really exciting to see. They were obviously impressed with our school and what we have to offer, and uh, it showed in, in those final talks. Hip-hop opens the door to everything else. You know, it's, it's not just hip-hop, like, 
but this delegation coming here also opens up students to take classes in other mm -hmm. programs at the school. We aren't going to say, all right, it's great to have you here, uh, students from Shenyang. We're going to rap about Minnesota. It's going to go, we're going to help you tell your own story. Right. And we're going to help evaluate how well you tell that story with the input from your instructors and with the input from uh, just good writing practices. Does it have significant detail? Is there something you said about living in Shenyang that made every other student from Shenyang in that classroom go? If there's any universal language, it could be argued that music is it, or music is one of the few things that can really uh, transcend cultural differences. We sincerely look forward to all of the things that this partnership is going to hold and the things that it'll bring to our campus, but also the things that it's going to bring back to Shenyang in China. And uh, we just can't wait to see what happens next.